pagination. This could take a while. Let's look at a simple query. Show me the employees by the date they were hired, the most recent first. We might do something like this. Select some columns from the employee table, limit myself to just five, order by hire date descending. Or I might do where row num less than or equal to five, order by hire date descending. Either of those two things are just plain wrong. They just don't work. Why? We can almost assume that we're actually processing in, in the order that we see the items on the screen. Go get me five employees. I don't care which five you get, just get me five random employees and then sort them by hire date. That's not the most recently hired employees, that's five people picked at random and then sorted. Now we've known, I'm hoping this is preaching to the faithful here, most people should already know this. The way we solve it is with an inline view. We say, go get the employees, then sort them, and when I've sorted them, now pluck off the first five. That's what we want, that is the correct answer. Or you can use a row number, an analytic, nested analytic as well, get the same result. Or if you're on Oracle 12 and above, you can use the ANSI standard fetch first five rows only. Those three things are effectively all the same. And we actually get the correct results. So I've given you a few different techniques there, at which point you're going, yeah, blah, 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 you know, why bother, right? I've got an ORM, it can handle that. I just pass, I want five rows to the ORM. My application can do it. It's so easy to just throw my SQL that I need into, a, in, into my Java program. And I don't need all this fetch five stuff. I'll just open the cursor, loop around, doing fetches till I get five rows and throw it away. Job done. I don't need to know all that trendy SQL stuff. That's a really bad idea. That's a really, really bad idea. Let's prove to you that it's a bad idea. So here's my transaction table. I'm a lazy typist. My transaction table is called TX. Right? It's just lots and lots of copies of the all objects table in Oracle, so it's pretty big. In fact, you can see it's got 10 million rows and it's one and a half gigabytes in size. Now, in real terms, that's not big. For a laptop, that's humongous. What we're going to do is see what it costs to run some of these queries. Now, to work out how we're going to do this, there's a performance view inside Oracle called V$ SQL Work Area Histogram. The specifics aren't particularly too important. What it does is it measures how much sorting and temporary operations are going on in memory and on disk in the whole database. So if I want to see what my session's doing, I have to take a copy of it beforehand, do some work, and then compare what's after and before. I have to do some deltas. So that's what this is going to do. I'll take a copy called before I run my query of that table. Now I'm going to run the good version of my query, order by object ID, just get the top 10 rows. I got 10 rows out, I'm not displaying them, just for ease of demonstration. It took about five seconds. What did it cost me to do that? Now, no matter what I do, I have to scan the whole table. There's no bypassing that, because I have to look at every single row to find the top 10. But to scan 10 million rows and work my way through 1.5 gigabytes of data, this is what I did. I had to consume eight lots of two kilobytes of RAM, as if I kept. Three lots of between one and two megabytes of RAM. That's what, six megs. Now that's pretty cool, right? I scanned 1.5 gigabytes of data. I had to sort it, yet I only used six megabytes of memory to do it. Now that seems almost impossible, but this is the implementation we do. And conceptually, I'm not saying this is exactly what we do, but conceptually you can think of it like this. To get the top 10 rows, grab the first 10 from the table, sort them. There's my top 10 at the moment. Go read the 11th row. Does it fit in that set? No, throw it away. Get the 12th row. Is it in the top 10? Yeah, just chuck it in, throw the 10th one out. I work my way through the table, just reading each row, continually keeping my top 10 set up to date. There's my small chunk of memory being used up while I scan the whole table. So I've used about six megabytes to run that query. Let's now repeat the thing using the application view. Just go do a sort by and fetch 10 rows. So we'll do it in PL SQL. This is just select star, order by object ID descending, and then fetch 10 rows. I haven't told the database that I'm after the 10 rows, I'm just doing it in code. For a start, it's slower, right? So number one, that's a bad thing. Let's have a look at the memory we use now. I used two lots of two kilobytes, don't care. One lot of two megabytes, don't care. And I use two lots of between one and two gigabytes of memory. That's not fun, right? Let's assume it's one and a half, so it's three gigabytes of RAM every time I run this query times 
500 sessions on my database. There isn't a box that can do that. And tell you what's even worse, the other numbers you may have noticed before were in the delta opt column. That stands for optimal. Optimal use of sorting space means I did it in RAM. Delta 1 is I wanted to use 2 gigabytes of RAM, but I couldn't. Why? Because it's a laptop. I actually used two, two lots of one gigabyte of storage. I had to dump it to disk and read it back in again. I just couldn't fit that stuff into memory. Doing uh, top 10 in the application and just telling the database order by is a bad idea, right? You will hose your database server. So if you let the database know, you get benefits. So here's the query we just saw, order by high data sending. How do we know we're getting the benefit? Look for these keywords, stop key. Stop key means that we're using that optimization where we're not sorting effectively the whole stack. We're grabbing a chunk and then sort of keeping it up to date. We're using RAM really efficiently. So order by stop key is that we're using that algorithm. If you're using FET's first five rows only, you'll see Windows sort pushed rank. Pushed rank is the keywords you're looking for, which is telling you you're getting the benefit of that sorting optimization. I, 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 I,